So anyone who knows me knows I'm fairly interested and relatively well up on, you know, reading legislation and kind of giving my two cents and trying to figure it out and be knowledgeable about what I'm trying to explain. But recent discourse that I've been having primarily on Instagram is around the two referendums coming up on the 8th of March to replace the women in the home in inverted commas uh, article and the one about carers and making them more encompassing and more inclusive. And, you know, the dreaded NGOs, in, again, inverted commas, um, are making good progress about putting articles out and linking things, but they're not doing, in my opinion, a great job of actually explaining it. All of the commentary that I've heard so far on the radio and on TV discussions from, you know, members of the government and civil organizations doesn't seem to quite explain what the potential repercussions of a vote either way uh, would be. And this is mildly concerning. Um, because in previous referenda, I could see the end goal. Voted uh, and campaigned in favour of uh, civil partnerships, knowing that the end goal was to get to marriage equality and obviously campaigned in favour of marriage equality. But, and then the referendum on the Eighth Amendment, yeah, voted around that, campaigning around the, the gay blood ban or the MSM blood ban, you know, all of these things, I kind of could see an end goal or at least enough willingness to kind of, and enough willingness to push towards that end goal. But I don't see that with this current referendum and there's what less than four weeks now it's the it's the sixth so we have about four weeks before the referendum and i'm one of the quarter in the latest in the latest poll that i saw the quarter of the population that were polled that don't know what way to vote i do want to vote and um, voting is really important but i can't think to vote yes for any reason other than it makes the language in the constitution a little bit more nice and up to date maybe but that's the only reason and that can't be the only reason because obviously for changing a fundamental constitution of the country there has to be very very good reasons for it and it has to be demonstrably uh proven that this is a good thing or a bad thing one way or the other and yeah but I don't want to vote no to it either because I can see the progress and people are saying well this is a stepping stone to better legislation for carers and family and mothers and fathers and grandparents and the push to make government more accountable for providing services in all of those realms that it kind of is already doing could absolutely 100%, 1000% do way more than it is and much more in line with what the dreaded uh, nefarious NGOs would be suggesting. But I don't see how a yes vote achieves that either. And obviously a no vote kind of leaves things the way they are. But all of those current stepping stones and progress and work that's being done to make all of the changes are still going to be happening regardless of whether I vote no or yes and the referendums pass or fail. So this is my request. I will be going and reading more legislation. I need to sit down and actually have a proper kind of comb over the, the bills themselves, the wording, but I want people who, like me or not, uh, understand it or can explain it better to explain it to me and by extension everyone else, either in the comment section here or on the Instagram that I'm linking this to as well. So yeah, that's my plea because if we're expected to vote, which we all should, we have to know what we're voting for. 
It has to be that simple. 